Hi WB3T, Bob here and today I'd like to show you my new breadboard radio sawdust super regenerative 40 meter receiver kit that I just finished over the weekend and this kit sells on uh, breadboardradio.com for $24.95 that includes shipping so if uh, you're looking as I was for a, uh, a quick one evening uh, kit uh, that isn't too ambitious, just something to uh, to pass your time and come up with something uh, that's actually usable. Uh, this is a pretty neat little uh, gizmo here. I like it. Um, I have mine set up to tune uh, 7.0 up to about 7.160 megahertz on the 40 meter band. Uh, but of course you can, uh, by using this uh, variable capacitor, you can set the band to wherever you like it. You might want to uh, set it for the high end of the 40 meter band and uh, use it strictly for single sideband reception. Um, what I've done here is I am now set up to actually attempt a, a QSO uh, using the sawdust receiver and a, uh, a Texonic Milliwatter standalone 40 meter transmitter. This was uh, something that I came up with myself back in the 90s. Uh, used to sell these kits through various uh, ham radio magazines, QST, uh, 73 amateur radio today etc and uh, have a few of those left so <laughs> this was this was my baby back in the day so I will uh, flip on my speaker unit and let's give a listen very stable the other night I listened to a phone uh, QSO for about a half an hour while I was puttering around the shack and uh, uh, didn't need to retune it at all to keep the voices sounding naturally. It's that stable. Uh, it's very good for a, a low price receiver kit. There is an input level attenuator over here, just this, this little pot. So if you encounter a signal that's overloading the receiver, you can just uh, cut that back a little bit. It's kind of like an RF gain control. And other than that, you just have your two basic uh, controls, the tuning and the, and the gain. Went together very easily. I decided to paint my base orange. That comes unfinished, so you have your choice of colors. Uh, if you want to paint it, stain it, or uh, leave it bare wood, uh, that's up to you. I, uh, I decided to do mine orange in, uh, in honor of the upcoming fall season. Breadboard Radio also sells a filter slash audio amplifier kit. I just ordered mine. And uh, that will uh, meet nicely with the sawdust receiver. As it is now, it's fairly broadbanded and uh, probably best used when the band is not too active because uh, you will have some trouble sep separating adjacent signal, uh, signals. Let me scoot up to the uh, phone portion of the band. You'll see exactly what I mean. If there's anybody on the phone portion this afternoon, let's find out. He's off in the distance pretty well. Let's see if there's somebody stronger. Well, not too much going on in the phone portion. It's very busy in the evening. Some digital. Uh, 
fire uh, and open the back of the uh, duct work, uh, the back of the oil furnace, the uh, air would move through uh, by convection uh, on its own. And some of the heat would come up into the house, but very small. And I couldn't build a big fire because it would all overheat. Pretty neat for $24.95, I think. <laughs> it was fun to build and it's fun to use. So that'll be my next challenge. I'll try that uh, over the weekend. Uh, actually making contact using the sawdust receiver on my on my uh, 40 meter milliwatt. That does about two and a half watts with uh, 13 volts in. And we'll share an antenna, of course, uh, by using an RF jumper between transmitter and receiver. So wish me luck. 73, look for me on the uh, QRP frequencies on uh, most of the HF bands. WB3T saying 73, and hope to see you on the air.